Hello and welcome to Tutorial to You. My name is Yannick and in this video I want to give you a brief introduction into Depper. Depper is a micro object relational mapper that allows you to easily execute SQL queries to fetch data, create data and update data from within your .NET applications. So let's get started right away. So I just created a new console application and we want to go ahead and install the NuGet package which is called Depper. So just go ahead and search for that and install it for your project. You could for sure use the CLI and just run .NET add package Depper. Awesome. So now I want to show you my database. It is right here and we have one table which is called employees and each employee consists of a primary key which is an integer, an ID, a name, an age and a salary, right? So in comparison to our entity framework which we also use a lot in let's say ASP.NET Core applications, Depper is way more lightweight. So we don't have a code first workflow for example and no auto implemented migration system. So if you want to use Depper, you have your database already set up, created it manually, you fold out the structure using default SQL queries. If you are already using Depper and you're experiencing slow performance when saving multiple rows, Depper Plus is the solution you have been looking for. Now with high performance bulk operations, this NuGet package can improve your performance dramatically. And the best part is, you don't have to write any SQL at all. Now with customizable options for all your possible scenarios, consider giving Depper Plus a try. Now you can check out their website, you can find the link in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner for more information. So as you have seen in my database, we have an employee and now I want to build a similar entity class, right? So this is why I just created a .NET class which is called employee and it contains exactly the same, well, properties as the columns or the properties in our database model that we got right here, ID, name, age, and salary, right? You can find that here, ID, name, age, and salary. So I try to map it like manually. In Entity Framework, for example, all of that will get handled automatically. Let's see how we can connect to our database so that we can use Depper to create an employee entity. In my program, I make use of the system data SQL client right here so that I can build up an SQL connection. This is not related to Depper in any kind of way. This is pure .NET. So I simply provide my SQL server connection string and set up a new connection. I already added the using directive for Depper right here so that we can now go ahead, write an SQL query and then use Depper to insert it in our database. We have to create an employee object. And again, this is really pure C sharp and .NET. So let's say new employee just like that. And then we can just submit any kind of value. So I want to do this with curly braces. And I want to say name equals to John Doe. I want to set the age to 30. And let's set the salary to any kind of reasonable number. There we go. So nothing special going on and still we haven't used Depper. So if we now create a default basic SQL query, let's say we write down an insert query, we write it down as a string. Let me just move that bar right here so that you can see as much as possible on that. Let's say insert into, write down here my table name. So employees, there we go. And then we simply add our parentheses and say for column name, age and salary, we want to provide the following values. Just move that a little bit further. Now pay attention. We say add name, add age and add salary. Alrighty, now let's execute our insert query. So we simply take our connection and then call the query method just like that we provide our insert query and finally we simply provide our employee object just like that cool so if we now hover above the query method you can see that this is an extension method now by the way if you have never heard about extension methods please go ahead we have a video based on that now this extension method which is called query right here, which is simply executing the SQL query and providing the, well, 
object that we have created right here to fill in the values, I will get to that just in a second, that query method gets provided by Dapper as an extension method. Now, here you can see the employee object, right? And all of those values that you can see right here are dynamic because they contain an add sign at the very front and they are pointing to the properties that we have specified here. So name in the end will be replaced with John Doe, age with 30 and salary with 50K. So this is why we provide the raw query just like this and then the object where the values have to be selected from. Awesome, so let's just start our application. Let me save that, let's start our application. Let's open up our Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Let's right click, let's hit select top 1000 rows. Let's hit execute and you can see John Doe 30. Now the ID is two because I already for sure tried that and created the very first John Doe. So this is why we now have ID two. It's an ongoing primary key where you will always have a unique number. Well, it's pretty simple, right? So using Depper is definitely an easy way to run CRUD operations on your database. Now let's take a look at data selection. So how we can fetch data from our database. But before we move on, I want to tell you about our C Sharp Progress Academy, which is a self-paced online course that teaches you ASP.NET Core web development, Angular, unit testing, and even C Sharp software design patterns. We offer a 14 day money back guarantee, and I'm absolutely sure that this is the fastest way on how you can progress as a C-Shop developer. So go ahead, check out the link in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, go ahead and subscribe right now so that you no longer miss any upcoming C-Shop and .NET related videos that help you become a better software developer. Great, so now let's take a look at how we can select or fetch data from our database. Now, let me just remove basically all of that right here except our SQL connection for sure, right? So we simply write down our string uh, select query to fetch the data, basic SQL again. We wanna select all from our employees table. There we go. Now let's think about what we expect. We will get a list or any kind of collection of multiple employees in best case, right? If we just have one employee, we will get a list with a single element, but for sure you could also have like a thousand employees. So let's create a list of type employee because that's what we are expecting, right? Let's call it employees. And it's actually, we take the connection, execute the query extension method again. And this time we have to specify the type, which is employee again. Now we put in our select query and simply call the to list method. In the end, you could also take like to array or whatever you like for sure. But the important part is that we execute the query extension method and we have to specify the type, right? So this is where .NET and Depper comes in again. And now finally, we can simply, well, we can simply set a breakpoint to make it very easy. Now let's hit start. Let's run our application. Let's see if our breakpoint is stopping the application. There we go. Let's hover above employees and you can see count one and you can see John Doe ID 2H 30. So we basically fetch the data and Depper converted it into a list of our c .NET type employee. Well, and this is what this Depper micro object relational mapper is doing. Now for sure it can do a lot more, but this was just a basic introduction into the world of Depper. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead, give it a thumb up, for sure subscribe to our channel. And if you want to learn more about c -Sharp and .NET, check out our c -Sharp Progress Academy. So thanks for watching and I'll see you back in the next video. So have a good one.